only just joined the paper's local news division and happened to hear what was going on from a source of mine. You wouldn't happen to have anything to add about the murder, would you? I'll take anything. Thank you so much! Just you wait, Dingle. I'll get one over you this time! Having a rough day? <laughs> sure. I'll get it done. here with all the hustle and bustle yeah it's one thing I like about this area Well, hello again, handsome. I've been waiting for you. I figured you'd show up early enough. I suppose the girl next to you is your client. She suits that uniform to a T. My name's Bermati, sweetheart. I'm the owner and bartender of this fine establishment. Van and I have a very special relationship.
Here are all the bases he used for the past few years, complete with security locks. <laughs> oh, and just to add, there's been no sign of any Jaeger cores in the move as of yesterday. Well, be seeing you. You must have amassed quite a collection by now. Uh... Oh! Oh! I'd heard you were a regular at this establishment, but I wasn't expecting to run into you just as it was opening. <laughs> that makes two of us. First Renee, then you. Hell of a day for me. You've certainly spent a lot of it skulking around. Up to no good, I assume. I imagine it was half your own fault that you got hauled off to the police station. Wish I could argue otherwise. Should have known it wouldn't take long for you to hear about what happened and come running. Of course. I've paid a visit to the scene of the crime as well. Giacomo was hardly a pleasant person, but he was a decent informant to use when work called for one. I hope you know that the detectives at the station and that reporter are very displeased with you, by the way. Your love of causing trouble for everyone and taking advantage of it to further your own goals has never been a bright spot for you. Don't got a clue what you're talking about. Damn, this is awkward. I can't believe it. Forgive me. My name is Elaine. I'm sorry for interrupting your conversation. Oh, not at all. I think we have much to discuss. But we're also both busy, so that can wait for another time. Whoever can solve this case first, the CID, the police, the guild, wins the prize lying in wait. That also goes for our presumed suspects. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. Be careful not to get too involved here, Van. I'm almost certain that the two people who killed Giacomo were from A. Thinking the same, but I'll chalk myself up to owing you one for telling me.
The next stop will be in the cathedral in Edith's Feast District. Those traveling to the cathedral or Aramis Academy. We are now arriving at the cathedral. The doors on the left side will open. I thought I told you to get off at the next stop. You'll have to forgive me for being selfish. But you have to understand just how much that memento means to me. It's something that connects me not just to my great-grandfather, but my mother and grandmother too. And that's not the only reason I want to see this through now. A man is dead. I know you don't like the idea, but... But I feel like I have to be a part of this. Whatever may come to happen. I'll do everything I can to ensure my own safety. And I'll do everything you ask in the field. So please... Won't you let me come with you? Huh. <sighs> Fine. You're the client. I can see you at least know your way around that staff and arts. <sighs> But you're gonna have to do everything to keep yourself safe. And if I give you an order, you follow it. If you fail to do that, I terminate our contract then and there. We clear? Absolutely. Thank you. We are now arriving at Edith Central Station, those transferring to the Transcontinental Railroad. Very good evening to you, Edith. It is now 6.45 p.m., which means it's time for today's evening news. President Graham Hart held a press briefing at the Presidential Building in Vontai at 3 p.m. today. He discussed this year's ending of the reparations from Erebonia and with it, the impact it will have on Calvert's future. It has been two years since the Erebonian Empire launched an unprovoked war of aggression against us. A vile act we were generous enough to forgive. The price it paid in the form of reparations was steep, but every last mirror was, in my strong opinion, justified. I believe its actions, its atrocities, the past several centuries are behind it. I warmly welcome it back to the international community with open arms, promoting an era of peace between us, even when it comes to Crossbell State. 
With reparations due to come to an end this year, some have raised concerns that an economic recession is on the horizon. Those fears are unfounded. We have used these past two years to transform our economy, to bolster our capital, to better our technology. No nation has surpassed what we have accomplished because no nation can. We cannot take our supremacy for granted. I have every intention of taking this power and using it to lead our great world as a whole to a more glorious, prosperous future. His nose is as sharp as ever. Edios knows how this is going to end, but it better be with my classmates safe, Spriggan. Switching to maintenance mode. Select your preferred type. Port set. Modifying your ornament, are you? Modifying your ornament, are you? 
Switching to maintenance mode. Shifting to maintenance mode. Switching to maintenance mode. Shifting to maintenance mode. This'll hurt. Take that! All you want, yes. Initializing drive. Hurt. Take that. All you want, yes. Going all in. Initialize and drive. Pay for that. There we go. We're down. All you on yet? Sucker. Suggesting magic attacks. Commencing battle. Charge attack available. One more. Now, let's You're finish the job. Have some more. Battle finished. Now processing data. Initializing drive. 
This'll hurt. Take that! Here goes! There we go! You picked the wrong guy to fight! There's gotta be some kind of trigger, but nothing's jumping out at me. Looks like he's deep in thought. I better leave him alone. Now, where could that trigger be? There! Wait, is it? Suggesting magic attacks. There! Commencing there. battle. There! There! Charge attack available. There. Now, let's finish the job! There! A nice chest. Boost gauge fully replenished. Got a whole slew of them. Good luck! Give them your all! Take that! A chance! Activating skill. Sucker! Ben! Use a shark if you could in the upper hand! I'll dice you up! A chance! Activating skill. Sucker! You'll pay for that! Shut up! All you on yet! Have some more! A chance! Activate it! Yeah, there we go! That's how it goes! Suggesting magic attacks. I'll take 
you on. There! A chance! Well then, away we go. One more! There! Got you! It should be safe for now. a nice chest. Whoops, dead end. Let's turn back. Hold your horses, girl. We should look around a little more. Huh. Guys, nothing if not thorough. This hideout should be dead ahead. Bet we can rest there. <sighs> Just what I needed. Can't get much more Middle Ages than this. <laughs> Gargoyles, huh? Maybe Giacomo had a better eye for hideouts than I thought. Hmm. Look at that. It's the spitting image of that picture you showed me. It really is. It perfectly matches the sketches in my great-grandfather's diaries. <laughs> I finally found it. <laughs> I'm happy for you. So it really does look like an orbment. But why is it glowing? Get back! <gasps> it went inside the 
statue! Well, that's not good. Are they... resonating? We're gonna have to take care of these guys before we can make with your memento. But I know that's not enough to stop you at this point, right? Time to bust out your crafts, SCLMs, the works. Cause here's where the real show begins! <gasps> This'll hurt. The mages of the Middle Ages left behind some damn tough guardians for us. It bugs me why they'd pick now of all times to start moving. Well, whatever. You really stepped up. It takes a brave soul to fight like that against the unexpected. You mean it? Thank, thank you. I'm very fortunate I had you to show me the ropes. <laughs> Let me be the one to pick it up. That's a good idea. Looks safe enough to me. Well, here's what you came here for. Did it just react with her like a combat orbment? I finally hold a Genesis in my hands. There's still more to find, but... I did it, Mom. Grandmother. <sighs> Say, Agnes, this great-grandfather of yours wouldn't happen to be... <gasps> there you are. Well, well. Impressive footwork. <gasps> no! 
Was waiting on the duo from Almada to make their grand entrance. <laughs> I see our reputation precedes us. You must be Van Arkride, the Spriggan. And my reputation precedes me. Look, I'm not opposed to picking up some work from you types most of the time. Just as long as you don't cross the line, which you just did by firing at us. That's too bad. We were only aiming for your limbs. We have no intention of killing the girl. Not since she seems to be connected to that device. You, however, don't have that same privilege. <laughs> You're real pros, huh? So much it makes me sick. But it also makes my job a lot easier. Hmm? Uh-uh. Uh don't move. Uh. <sighs> A practitioner of the Gekka school, I assume. Even if that weapon marks you as more of a military close combat type. Good eye, but sorry. I'm not with the Gekka school. Anyway, you don't look like you know all that much about the device itself. But you're still gonna tell us everything you do know. And why you're after it. Van... I'm certainly curious, too. What does a criminal organization even want this for? Beats me. We're just following orders. And an order's an order. Even if it costs us our lives! <clears throat> what? Shit! Good? I'm fine. I'm more worried about you. Fast acting enhancement drugs, huh? Didn't think you guys had gone that low. Ever heard the stories about foreign mafias getting destroyed by that stuff? I'll thank you not to compare us to small fry like Crossbell's Ravach. We stand head and shoulders above them. And now we're gonna stand head, shoulders, and feet above you! <laughs> <laughs> Where'd that spunk from earlier go? We're gonna enjoy this! Van! Got that out of your system? You're done, Spriggan! Don't you dare! <laughs> the hell? Fine then, you can die too! Could do a shard shield. No time. Damn it. Don't die over a piece of shit like me. What? What's going on? There's a light coming from my great-grandfather's... Oh boy, you sure are in a sorry mess. What? How is this? The hollow from your Zypha. Van, the choice is yours. Will you bear the nightmare or not? <gasps> what are you? Since when can hollows appear like this? World's full of mysteries. Are you asking me that question of your own free will? Huh? Of course I am. Just so we're clear, I could not care less how much trouble you're in. I'm just here to know one thing. Will you bear the nightmare or not? Man. <laughs> Man. Today's just one thing after another, huh? My life's been a living nightmare for more than a decade now. So what's a little more fire when you're already in the depths? Oh. 
All right, let's do it! Okay! Doing it then! Shard swell! The Frenel's all yours! <sighs> what the? Is this feeling? Ugh. Well, I'd take fighting this thing over our bosses any day of the week. You're damn right. We're taking you down in the name of Almada! Huh? Someone needs to relax. You're dead meat! Fine. Tired as all hell, but I don't feel any pain. Can't believe I just took down a pair of drugged up mafiosos like they were snot nosed kids. What a monster. What was that? You saw Mare too, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Just tell me what you want. Figures. All she spits out is what she's programmed. She's got no sentience. The tech hasn't come far enough to give her any. But... Was it the Genesis, then? Well, can't imagine it was a fluke. So that thing's called a Genesis? Yes, or that's what my grandfather called it in his diaries. It's supposed to be one of eight. Called collectively the Eight Genesee. You saying there's eight of these? I'm gonna guess it was behind everything that happened here. Behind Mare showing up, behind me turning into that weird monster, behind spirits popping up down here too. Then we're of the same mind. The diaries describe them as for experimental observation and nothing more. Of course they elected to omit the finer details. You know, when I accepted this job, I didn't think it'd be from a relative of the one and only Professor Epstein. Huh? 
Dead on, huh? That thing was made half a century ago, around the time of the Orbal Revolution. It's easy to tell by looking at it just how much precision and skill went into making it. Then you got that it's an orbment capable of doing artifact-level stuff. Even Epstein's three disciples couldn't have made something so advanced back then. Knock them out of the running, and you're left with the father of modern tech, Claude Epstein. <laughs> I'm sorry for hiding it from you. I'll tell you everything there is to say. It all started when... Not now. Put it away. Quick. Van! Are you alright? Uh, oh. I see. We were a few minutes too late. Those two are... They're from Amada. We finally caught them. Get lost! This is our territory! Who do you think you're talking to? This isn't a job for civilians. Just what happened here? I can see that you fought them, but beyond that... We fought, yeah. With how pumped full of drugs they were, it was a miracle we could make it out with our skin intact. Uh-oh. <laughs> as curious as I am about how you emerged victorious, I trust you were able to help your client? <laughs> no comment. That's between me and her. Now, I know I owe both sides here a debt, but consider them paid. They might be at the bottom of the chain, but they're still in Almada. You can have one each. Excuse me? Who gave you the authority to- I suppose we do owe him for neutralizing them. Very well. We shall take them in between us. Maybe if you're lucky enough, they'll even talk. Now come on, let's get out of here. Oh, um, sure. But let me help you walk. I'm good. I'm good. This is clearly only the beginning of something much greater. Sharpen your skills while you can, Van. Will do, Renee. Kincaid. Hmm. I can't let him keep living like this. Why must you insist on shouldering all of the burden yourself?